Thank you so much for the meditation. So there was, say, the physical resurrection meditation. And you see, like, well, I'm not a body, I'm free. In fact, I know that too. It's like that I know that um, deep down somewhere I recognize that to be my truth. And um, I get more and more, say, the possibility for experiences in that direction. And um, does that mean that you don't feel your body or that you don't, um, say, have to deal with your body? Like, no, that doesn't actually work like that. So it's, it's most of the time it goes a bit like the other way around, that you become even more aware of your body. Um, it's like there's a lot of changes uh, related to letting go of the idea of you being a body. And um, I'm going to let someone in first. Um, all right. And <clears throat> so the thing is, um, um, it is a process that's taking place in you. And at the same time, you are being lifted out of your physicality in an holy instant, for instance. You, you're lifted out of your physical idea of yourself, experiencing light and love of God, light and peace and joy. It's like you, suddenly you're overwhelmed with an, something that comes out of the blue but it's so incredibly fulfilling for you for just a moment and then you're back here you find yourself back here even in a physical body with with its pain and pains and its aches that it can have you know it's like yeah this this is all part of it suddenly you you have a headache suddenly you have this or that and uh, so that's that's part of that too in, in the sense of your transitioning from you know this this idea of yourself to to a uh, whole new experience of yourself that you catch glimpses of now and then maybe on a daily basis maybe once in a lifetime maybe it's a couple of times maybe it's you, know, you train yourself to to become open to receive that and um so like you invite it in more and more um because of what it uh, will give you, what it will bring you, and uh, recognizing that the truth of you is that. That's why it feels like um, more and more it starts to feel like coming home and um, recognizing yourself without confusing it for, for a body. And the same with your brother. You start to see your brother in a new light. The one that you meet, the one that you see, you start to see him or her in a, in a new light. You know, it's like that, that extends beyond the form. And you know these expressions, but when it come, becomes your experience, it is, it is so beautiful and so fulfilling to see how uh, safe that is, how... Um, loving that is how freeing that is so this is this is really like the um say the entrance that we're having into the idea of resurrection that is really taking place in this in this 40 days that we're together it's definitely happening it's like um yeah you're being conf say confronted with it but very gently confronted with it it's, it's really like a gentle invitation to to try a, a new experience for yourself so this can happen in all kinds of ways and um, so um, today i have a bit of an say an artistic way of expressing um, that just happened spontaneously uh, when i was preparing for this class um, it came to me there's an there's an artist and Christopher Wool is his name, so he uses expressions um, like um, uh, the stencils really uh, of letters uh, stencils. He he makes art with that. Uh, he made that. I I don't think he's doing that anymore. But these are very famous, and I'm actually I say applying these or using these uh, in different kind of expressions that you don't see. Um, with him, well, some of them might might be the same, 
But actually, I want to use it in a certain sense is that I, I would love you to look at it, to try to, yeah, to see what is actually uh, being presented, what idea, like you don't cannot read it just right away. So it takes a bit of juggling, it takes a bit of finding out like, what is this? And so that is one of the uh, things so there some of them will resonate with you deeply because suddenly you recognize something well i would love you to to write those down write them down it's like just write them down which one is really really touching you like if you see this online you can write it in the comments like these were so resonating with me because because they will it's it's inevitable like the 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 words and the, the ideas came out of one chapter by Jesus about um, the resurrection, the physical resurrection. And um, they're just expressions, short ones, um, but you got to discover them. So they will be presented in a whole different way to you, but it's, it's really lovely. Uh, some words you will recognize as, oh, what is that all about? Or, hmm. And others really feel like, yes, I resonate with that. I, I totally recognize myself in it at this point in time. So that's only what I ask of you. Um, so I'm going to uh, prepare one. Um, let me see. I, I do one. Uh, this is interesting. <clears throat> one is especially to for me to show you. So this is just for you to discover how difficult it is to do this in a different language. So for some, it will be easier, especially if you speak French, it is not that difficult. But um, for the English, it might be difficult. Yeah, I see recognition there. <laughs> it is a famous uh, title of a book of Joel, but then in French. So this is how easy it is for, for the French to do it in English, uh, if you're English. L'art de la guérison spirituelle. Right, yes. it's, it's the title of Joel's book, right? So, mm -hmm. so you, get, you get the idea. Um, this was just a warming up for us. Um, so I got more. So this is now English, which is undoable for French. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's very easy to. Okay, so here are a couple of them. Um, so we start with, with one. I'm just letting them pass by. I, uh, I will let you check this out. And if it resonates with you, you're just, um, I will do this one as an example. Um, so if it resonates with you, what you, what you see, what you discover, then write, write it down, write the idea down. And you only have to, to resonate with three of all the, the ones that are presented. There are about probably around 20 or so. I don't know. So this is, Exonerate, exonerate, right? Exonerate.
Thank you for your... Uh, I hope I didn't exhaust you too much. <laughs> um, so now um, you probably found three that you could... Um, yeah, that resonated with you. And um, I'd love you to say them or show them. Um, so now we can do that in different ways. Um, so the uh, the whiteboard would be one of them um, so let's let's open a whiteboard and then we can just visualize it make it even more visible um, so you can write down here um, which one or which ones did you choose oh. So you can write it with a pen. There's a pen there. There's a text block you can do. You can do it in form. You can, yeah, there are kind of some ways to do it. But there might be something that really, really was touching you, was really resonating with you. Resurrection, I see. Right. Well, thank you so much. This is great. Let's take a look. Um, so seeing what's all here. Illuminations, written really big too. Uh, really resonated. So there's a lot of illumination that, uh, that resonated. And here we have awakening. I'm the light of the world. I'm the light of the world. I'm the light of the world. Okay, here's one more beautiful. So salvation is also one. Salvation. Resurrection. Okay, thank you so much for sharing this. This is definitely an... Uh, say discovery for yourself like the the ideas that were shared were for instance you um, obey you accept yeah you obey the god that you accept and that's that's a broad uh, idea it's lovely to stand still with like w what god am i obeying you know what god am i obeying so this is also in in the the idea of uh, physical resurrection is a great one because it, it literally say tells you where am where am i putting my say where do i put my investment in in my attention in my you know where am i um, dealing with in my mind what do i decide about myself what god image do i have and it's not to create a great god image but more like uh, you come to know what god you are actually obeying you see the say literally the reflection of it in what you are experiencing so and this this is what we practice too it's like okay so bring back the ideas of you want to stay on the way of peace like we said in the in the meditation you want to stay on the way to uh, of peace you don't want to walk away because you feel lost doing so so and and this is not this is not a, a a brainwash of any kind it is not that you have to learn these sentences or learn these words so that they will make sense or something it's not about um not not even verbalizing it it is not uh, uh, it's not a mantra it is not an um, affirmation it is definitely not an affirmation so don't use it like that because if you think you can use it in the way that you think is the best for you you make the same mistake and try to fit it into your limited human way of dealing with it in fact you intellectualize it and you you take away 
the direct inspiration and action that is actually connected to all this. It, if it doesn't bring you alive, it, it is nothing. It's really like that. So that's why we don't have to do anything with this. If it resonated, great, that was that was it. And writing it down, you see like, well, we try and we put it in form and we can play a little bit. Sure, oh, great. I love that you did that, absolutely. But see, it's receiving these ideas. It's receiving these and, and starting to come to a demonstration of it by your experience, not by your words, not by your, yeah, not even by your actions. It's like an actual occurrence in you is, is that. So it's like being what you are. You don't have to do anything else. You, you learn to be as you are. In that is all communication. In that is all that really is. And the rest is of a different energy. So that's why you can be touched by one of these expressions and, and recognize them in your heart and and feel like oh, that is really what I needed to hear. That's so great. Or this is the way I look at myself. Um, like there were some expressions really useful for that too, to, to recognize Oh my God, I really feel that I'm a hypocrite or I really feel this or that about myself. So these, these are parts of your own evaluation of yourself that you have to find a way with and, and not to escape it or not to uh, do anything else with it, not to, to deny it, but recognizing it for what it is. So and that is different if you recognize it what it is then it can dissolve too you literally have an opportunity to transcend it to to see through it to see what lies beyond instead of uh, holding it against yourself so so this is also what we shared yesterday is like the defense defensiveness you know it's like in your defenselessness lies your safety there is your resurrection so your your safety is defenselessness not picking up a sword not defending yourself no it's it's like putting that down and and being open and receptive to a new experience of yourself really that's the only thing like the renewed or the remembered relationship with with your creator with god you know, and, and that's that is the invitation, but it's also the uh, the action of of that's the yeah, resurrection in progress as an action. You know, that is so lovely. That is so lovely. Thank you, thank you. So um, let me see how we're doing on time. Well, yeah, I want to have a break. So we have a break. We did our work. We did our school work. <laughs> Very well done. Thank you so much for your drawing on the big board and uh, for your participation in the in the exercise really cool